we had to learn the urea cycle, we had to learn fatty acid oxidation. We learnt it mostly out of lectures and out of Leninger was the original core biochemistry text back in the 70s. And we would cram to get through the biochemistry module. But nobody had any interest in biochemistry. It was a matter of this is what you've got to cram, otherwise you're not going to get to be a surgeon. There were these little cofactors that were mentioned. So we had NADH and we had FADH2. And I learned everything in isolation. The purpose of biochemistry was to pass the biochemistry unit and to get on to become a surgeon. <laughs> the first thing you did once you got your pass mark in biochemistry was take a break. So you had eight weeks time to go off and do exciting things. And when you got back to university, the first thing you did was you sold your copy of Leninger to the first years that were coming in. And nobody ever expected to do any biochemistry as part of being an internal medic, medic or a surgeon. We have this picture of the mitochondria and they are using these cofactors, NADH and FADH2, to generate the proton gradient, which allows ATP synthesis. And it, you knew this, but you didn't think it through. And some of it was very cutting edge at the time. It didn't, it wasn't ever going to be anything you practically needed. So I probably forgot all about it. When I realized that high fat diets, as in Dr. Atkins's diet, were profoundly different, I dropped three or four kilos on Atkins induction. I lost the reactive hypoglycemia that need to eat now. You, you just stop being hungry and you would, and it was all in his book. He said this would happen and boy, <laughs> he was right. It did happen. 